Tom, bittersweet afternoon for you. Back in the side after a good couple of months out, but defeat in the FA Cup. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, collectively, we'll take some positives away from the game. Um, obviously, it's, it's a tournament, it's, it's, a, it's a cup competition. Everyone wants to progress in the FA Cup. It's a brilliant cup competition. So, disappointment, but at the same time, we can refocus now, Tuesday night, Swindon at home, under the lights. Um, great opportunity to go and get three points and start climbing the table. And in that first half, we were playing against a side in the league above, but it looked a very even half, went ahead. And from here, it looked like it, they were a bit fortunate with their equaliser. Yeah, no, just saying again, just to reiterate, we, we come in at half-time 1-1 and felt like we was pretty resilient. Um, like we could have come out in the second half and took the game to them and, you know, conceding the second, second goal. Kind of puts you on the back foot a little bit, their crowd gets going, um, naturally, as it does away from home. Um, Looking at the goal itself, probably have to look, watch it back. Um, all happened a bit quick, you know. So it'll be something we'll watch back collectively and uh, reassess it, yeah. Yeah, and obviously, once it goes to 3-1, some sides might have capitulated and, and it could have ended up uh, worse than that. But we show good character to come back into it and maybe at the end uh, with a chase shot and Brad's header at the near post, on a different day, we might have been uh, back in the game. Yeah, I think that's all you can do. A 3-1 down, you've got to keep going to the last minute. And, and you know, we, we get a goal back 3-2 and then all of a sudden, you know, you're ch chasing the game again. So, um, I mean, I've showed in the last two games in, in the league, Grimsby and uh, Accrington, we've, we've been sort of on the better side of things. We've been leading and, um, you know, we've got to see the game out. And uh, we, we have done. So that resilience is, is showing more and more often now, which is, which is a good thing. Yeah, and on a personal level, we must be really pleased to get back in the starting line and going out of that tunnel at the beginning of the game rather than uh, coming on yeah. later. Yeah, I've missed it. I mean, I've, I think my, my little man's missed it probably more than me, if anything. <laughs> he keeps on at me, Dad, when you're playing, when you're playing. So, no, it's, been, it's brilliant. Back out there doing what I love. Uh, get 75 minutes under the lights tonight. Yeah, nothing better. And was it pre-planned that you were going to get that or was it just think 90 is still probably a bit too much? Um, oh, well, Matt's been brilliant with me. He sort of worked with me back from fitness. So he's come in the last couple of weeks and he's brought me off the bench at Grimsby and brought me off the bench at um, Accrington to, to you know, help the lads see the game out and play my part in that. So it's been great getting some minutes in, in games and then topping up the minutes and then obviously starting tonight and getting 70, 75 in the tank. Um, you know, doing things the right way, which which um, which I think should be done, which is it's good. Yeah, and little different things that Matty's brought into the squad, most of the fans wouldn't have seen yet because we haven't had a home game, three away games in a row. Be good to get back at home now for the next two league games. Yeah, exactly. You know, dust ourselves down from today, um, get back on the pitch Monday and prep for for Tuesday a game under the lights at home, back in the league, three points at stake, opportunity to climb the table, fans in the stadium, and everyone's buzzing for that one.